Hello, visuals. Welcome back to the Vision Guy podcast where we talk about lots of cool shit to do with the cinema, but the cinemas aren't about. Uh, someone's Pokemon battle and it's cute when she battles because I help her. She gets wins because of me. What Pokemon? No, what podcast she she uh, It was just MCU related. You might have it. I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is where we talk about all the cool uh, news and shit like that. I got distracted for a sec there. Uh, we do have a bee in the room, but um, she's currently charging up a scissor or taking taking shit from a scissor whilst I stick together. Shit from a scissor. Pre- pre- whilst I do thingy. Did you win? I'm not even battling back. Who isn't? Just stood there. Have you already won? Like, are they, are they giving up? They might have already given up. Ah, oh, Chris, it's Pokemon, but you won't understand. No, I don't. Well, no, it's, yeah, you know Pokemon. It's just Pokemon, but battling. <laughs> How many Pokemon have they got left? This is still the first one. How many have they got? They got three. Yeah. So if it's the last one, they might just be giving you the win. Uh, this is the first one. Oh, they're the dead now. Just keep charging up your attacks then. If they don't choose a Pokemon, you know they've, they've given up. They give up on the one go then. Fucking weirdos. Yeah, anyway, hopefully weirdos. Chris has got a few. How many have you got? I've got a few. Is there still stuff happening? Kind of. There's still stuff kind still of happening. Still stuff kind of happening. There's some stuff that's been moved about and stuff. Oh, yeah, I, I know about some move about your stuff. So, yeah. Right, okay, we'll go on. Here's your best shot. Well, the first one, um, I, I kind of had a funny feeling it would come at some point. Oh, you, what, what, um, you From the producers of the American version of The Office. Yeah. They, they make a TV series about the coronavirus. A comedy show. And that, really? That quick? Yeah. I mean, don't get us wrong, I love really dark comedy. It's fucking hilarious. But I, I thought it'd be a while till somebody... I mean, South Park were the first people because they would have the best isolation episodes ever. Matt and Andrea Barker write phenomenal shit. I thought they would be the first... But it hasn't awesome. got a date of when it's going to be happening, so South Park might come up with it first. Oh, maybe. Because 100% South Park are taking the piss out of this. Yeah. That's a bit odd. The people... Are, did you ever watch... Did you watch The Office? No. Stop? Did you watch... Oh, right, the Office was actually quite good. The American Office... Uh, the American Office was quite cool. There was a lot of characters in it that were... I mean, still Steve Carell and stuff. It was. Mm. It's actually quite good. Uh, John Kr- uh, Kroninsky's in it. Mm-hmm. Obviously, just minus beard. Yeah. And before being quiet, so it's actually quite funny. I'd give it a watch if you've got now to watch. I might do. Uh, yeah, that's a, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the coronavirus, the TV show, the comedy version, the comedy version. Mm-hmm. Right. Tell you what is good before I go any further. If you haven't started watching it, War of the Worlds. Is this the second one? This is the new you, series that's out at the minute. Because you watched the one back I in eighteen hundreds England or yes. whatever it was. I watched that. I was a free part of it. That was good. Yeah. Because didn't you? Didn't you? You've, at first you said, "Why are they doing this? There's no point." Mm. And now you've watched it and you liked it. I'm like, I'm really enjoying it. It's really good. Is it the same thing every time? Just alien comes down, gets our cold, and dies. It. Or do they do they mix it up? They've kind of mixed it up. They've kind of like because it's it's. it's Mainly a French American. French American. Yeah, the, the, the guy who produced it is like half French, half American. Right. So he's kind of put it towards that audience first. They got it like middle of last year. So we've only just got it this year. He's put it towards French Americans first. Yes. How the fuck does that make any sense? So only if you're, so if you're from France or America, in them two countries, you get it first. Yes. Right, okay. And then the rest of the world in Europe have got it. Okay, that's a bit racist, I think. Indiana. It's <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> but that's how he's done it, and it does have its French subtitles on if you obviously don't know French. Right, it's all in French, like. No, no, it's English, you, get the, you get both sides, you get the English, and the, cause it's set in London and France. So, wait, what the fuck? I don't know. So, don't right, know. It's, you get the Yanks get it first with the French, but it's set in England. It's set in England and France. So is this a sequel to that first series, Free Party? No, it's got nothing to do with that. Jesus Christ! I'm, what, right, so what? So, right, what's the synopsis then? Synopsis is um, some fucking balls come flying down from space and right. just crash landing on Earth, mm-hmm. and then these alien robot dog creature things 
like dogs, but like robots. Right. But to, if you take away the shell, they've got like normal. Well, so they say normal organs, but they've got all the what you like. Right, right, right. Yeah. So, so yeah. 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 And then, like as I'm getting on, because I don't want to spoil it, but as I'm getting on, it's getting more and more intriguing, and you kind of understand like why the. F- why they're here now? Oh, um, so there's an actual reason because it's a typical War of the Worlds. They're already here, aren't they? They're under the ground, yeah. and then they all start rising mm-hmm. and they're in the yeah, big yeah. weird tripod things. They forget the uh, Tom Cruise War of the Worlds. Sh- what about the original War of the Worlds? Forget that because that was the same story as the Tom Cruise one. Not, not necessarily. Uh, the original eighteen hundred one, the one I watched earlier on last year. All right. That was more closer to the HG Wells version right. of his book. Okay. Where the Tom Cruise one, it's it's it got done by an American, so it's all fucking kind of weird. Yeah. Yeah, kind of weird. <laughs> <OTT. laughs> oh mate, right, okay, right. I might give that a shout. It depends. I'm I'm in the middle of watching some fucking awful baking show. <laughs> Hi, Bean. It's not awful. And she wraps herself up in a blankie. But no, I recommend you watch it because it is good. Okay. War of the Worlds. Let's move it on. What started, well, what, season three, mm-hmm. yesterday, yes, Siren. Oh, the um, mermaids. mermaids, stuff that you've been watching. Jeez, that, only, that feels like years ago you started that. I don't know. Is it still cool? It's still cool. Yeah, is it? Is more, it... Mermaids, more mermaids are coming from uh, other parts of the world now, so it's getting interesting. Are they the bad guys then? Are they, are they evil mermaids? mermaids? Yeah. Sirens. I know. Are. I know. Yeah. Right. Okay. So the, 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 the story behind sirens is the back in the day. Yeah. Where they had this singing voice, which to lure the sailors, which lured the sailors yeah. towards them, but actually to lure them into rock, um, rock shores. Right. So, so they, 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 they they crashed. They crashed, and then they obviously killed them. They killed the sailors. Yes. So they eat them. Yes. Right. And then the mermaids are good guys. The mermaids are the good ones, like Ariel and. The rest of them. Right, so do you see mermaids mermaids and sirens fighting this? Not mermaids and sirens fighting each other, but you get sirens and sirens fighting each other. Plus, also you get humans and... Is it pure scary underwater in that? It can, it can be, yeah. Oh, I might have to give that a little bit of a shot. That, that sounds crazy. Because even the small little mermaid scene you get in Pirates of the Caribbean was fucking freaky. Like, they are horrible cunts, like. I bet they stink. A fish. Yeah, I bet they stink like fuck. <laughs> Isn't that right, B? <laughs> okay, so see the freeze out. See the freeze out. Um, it's good. That's good. Is it weekly or are you getting on and one up? No, it's weekly. You got two part episodes last night. Mm-hmm. And then I'll say, obviously, it'll be weekly after that. Right. I might give that a shout, you know. If it's creepy and underwater, is there any other sort of weird animals that come from under the sea in it? No. No, just them. No. Do you not see any sharks or all? No. They just concentrate on sirens because you get the story about uh, what, why they're there and all that yeah. stuff, and it's something to do with the people that's on land and with their ancestors and all that stuff. With they the fucked a fish. Used... Yeah. Oh, you mean for real? There's <laughs> a guy that actually fucked a fish back in the day, which puts people on. It's, sort of, it's related to some people on land. Are you so. mental, man? <laughs> actually, part of this show is the, the origin story. Is some crazy nutcase fucked a fish? That fish laid. Weird fish human eggs. Yeah, and, mate. Are you mad? What kind of fish was it? It's a mermaid. <laughs> no, but what fish did he fuck to make the mermaids? No, he didn't literally just fuck a fish. He fucked the mermaid. That's where I was. I thought you just... give the origin story of how mermaids come about. Just watch the film program. No, because I'm confused <laughs> now, mate. Because what we come before the mermaid? Well, I don't know. Like I fucked a fish. It's like what become before the human. Yeah, but that's all just like evolution shit. So it's mermaids, so it's mermaids. Nah, somebody fucked a fish. I'm looking to <laughs> Somebody <laughs> fucked a fish. How the fuck do you fuck a siren? Have they got like a gill? It'd thing? be like a female or like a whale. It'd be a slit. <laughs> 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 oh, I was intrigued by the show. Now I really want to see what happens. Thanks. Hey, no, here's I want to see a guy fuck a fish. We, me and B, me and B watched a guy fuck a chicken the other day. So did I. Oh, were you watching it with us? Yes. Oh, maybe it wasn't you I was watching it with. No, oh, you did. We oh, yeah. Here. Oh, yeah. And he's week. like, fuck it, mate. That's mine. I want to see that film. 
Uh, carry on. Every <laughs> time there will be one. What's that look for? Are you really shocked by the things I say these days? No. Exactly. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's moved that in there. You can fix it for me. Um... Uh, Candyman got a date with September 25th. That's not been pushed back, or is this its pushback date? Because that was maybe soonish. Um, I think it was his original date. Oh, was it? Mm. Jeez, the ones. I know it was coming out later on in the year, but I think it was originally its date. Where are you so, going? That's what you think, over. I think she's given up. Oh, no, she's going. Oh, you have to be careful the way you open that. Why? Because <laughs> everything will A lot of stuff falls. You just have to sort of open it from the middle. She loves chucking this fucking fight. Does my tits in? Um, so yeah, twenty fifth September. Twenty fifth September. If cinemas are back open and everything else, which yeah, we'll have we'll to see what happens to that. Maybe we'll 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 see. Um, Ant Man three. Ant Man three. Ant Man three. And this is called Ant Man three, not Ant Man of the Wasp three or no, Ant Man three. Um, scripts underway. Right. Apparently. Uh, so the rainbow's at the top, yeah? Is uh, Pikachu and Charizard are out, Phil? They all still stood up. <coughs> sat in his butt. Who sat in his butt? Charizard? Get him stood up. <laughs> and, man, sorry, carry on. We're doing some uh, standing up here. Uh, so, script's underway. Script's underway. Um, Paul Rudd kind of involved in the script. Was he? Mm-hmm. Oh, sweet. So is Jeff Looniness. Who? Lo- Lo- Loveness. Jeff Loveness. Mm-hmm. Who's Jeff Loveness? The writer and producer of Rick and Morty. I read about that. Oh, hell yeah. So they've got Rick and Morty writers involved. Yep. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. That'll be fucking... I thought Dan Hartman and Robert Kirkwood just did all the writing for Rick and Morty. I know they created it. They're going to guess that show's got quite big now. They need a lot of ideas. Oh, man, that's sick as fuck. It is indeed. I'm down for that. I'm down for a Paul Rudd's... Paul Rudd! Paul Paul Rudd's script, anyway. And while we're on Rick and Morty, they're back up and running on the first week of May, I think. It's in May, but I didn't realise it's the first part of the fourth season. Yeah. Yeah, because they stopped at episode five, the whole dragon... I don't know why. Dragon sex shenanigans. I forgot you got back into it. Mm. I love that that episode. Dragon shit. No dragons. dragons. There was there was a snake in it, but it was ba- based on the dragons that shagged each other, and they had like the proper slag slut dragons. Slut dragons. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> I'll, I'll keep you up to date. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was a sick episode. I wait. Yeah, I can't wait. I assume they'll have five more episodes left. Yeah. Uh, May third comes out. <laughs> Oh, it could have been May the 4th. Yep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a dedicated day? You've been a trekkie now. No. Oh, oh we may have had this conversation yesterday. I was like, such a fetus to stand. <laughs> I went, what's <laughs> Picard? Yeah. Picard's good. It's cute. It and hey, no, Star Trek is cool. I've got that again, Star Trek. Just shake your face as a stun. <laughs> Little bubble to myself at the end. <laughs> oh, is it sad? Yes. Patrick Stewart's a fucking beast. He is a legend, man. Uh, but yeah, moving on. Moving on. Moving on. I don't want to find it. Uh, All right, dog. Dwayne. 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 The has Rock confirmed. Hobson Shaw Two is happening. Yeah. Uh, no date. No writing script. Uh, is this going to be? In the middle, still, in of the two parts. This is going to be in the finale middle. Finale of It's going to be years. the end of one, obviously. Mm. Um, because obviously with Fast 9. Yeah, being a two-parter. Being a two-parter, but that's been pushed back for next year. And obviously 10 is going to be the year after that. Right. So it's probably going to slot in the middle between these two. I think I don't know it's all confusing now yeah the Fast and Furious got confused because like, obviously it was nice and simple yeah Fast and Furious uh, too fast too furious Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift Fast and Furious 4 but then 4 is actually number uh, sorry Tokyo Drift is actually number what is it 7 Fast uh-huh. and Furious 4 is actually number 3 yeah and it's just fucking shit it's 
song called Boozy. When I see you again. Yeah. Ah, 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 but it's up there. Ah, ah, ah. See, when I first watched that, I, I, I honestly, God couldn't tell Paul Rudd was CGI'd over his brother. But then once you find out, you think you can actually really badly see it. It's not bad. No, I it's not all, awful, but you can really see it. Like, it sort of doesn't quite sit in its own places. What are you looking at? Well, his face is the other way around. It finished him off. At least they didn't just get rid of him because he passed away. It finished him off. Yeah, at least. his story arc. But yeah. didn't, didn't somebody say they were going to try and bring him back and have his brother do the same thing? They were going to bring his brother in, Cody, to try and play him. But it that just seems worked out. shit, yeah. Yeah, it wouldn't have worked out at all, so. Mm-hmm. Does his brother do any other acting? Or is no. it literally this? This. And he only did it for that? Yeah, he only did it to finish off his face. Because they were halfway through it anyhow. Mm. Well, three quarters way through, to be honest. So yeah, yeah, they were just finishing off for him. Chris Pine, Chris Pine, Chris Pine. Mm-hmm. There's so many Chris's in show business. There isn't. There. Um, it's confirmed. Right. Um, Star Trek. <laughs> it's happening. Star Trek Four. Yeah. Oh, sick! I fucking love Star Trek. Yeah. Um, also he's been eyed up that was not really the story but also he's been eyed up to play MCU version of the Green Lantern the MCU version mm. of the Green Lantern which would be what Adam Warlock I don't know the MCU's version of the Green Lantern Silver Surfer Jamie, do that shit. Jamie, <laughs> pull that shit up. Who, who would be the Marvel's version of the Green Lantern? Captain Marvel to a degree, because she's basically part of... Nova, because he's part of a police force. Obviously, the Green Lantern Corps is just a police force in space. So Nova could be the... Uh, <coughs> what the fuck? Come on, get Jamie to pull it up. Yeah, Jamie, pull that... that I do like Chris Prime though. Uh, I mean, he's he's coming back for Wonder Woman, isn't he? Well, he's already yeah. he's in the film. Yeah. Um, little fly. He, he's cool as fuck. He is cool. I like him. Um, what have you got, Jamie? What have you googled? Marvel's version of Green Lantern. I don't know. Is what is it come up with? Stupid shit. Mm. What? Is there more to your story, Chris? That's fucking doing my head in. There's nothing to my, my story on here, but I can look into it, see what the fact is. I mean, there's no one with the exact same powers, but like I said, Nova is part of, a, 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 like, the Nova Corps is a police corps in space. So he's, he's eyed to play the MCU version of Green Lantern. Hmm. Hmm. Very confused. Plus, it's quite weird for him to go from... Being in the middle of the DCEU with the Wonder Woman, who'd been in both films, yeah. and then go over to the MCU. Mm. Plus, he's with Star Trek. Star Trek's got nothing to do with like uh, DC or anything, but then he's a rival to the Star Wars, which is Marvel, sort of, which is Disney. It's a bit, a bit of sort of it's a bit here. Yeah. Have you, you, have you found the story? It says, um, like his M. Fuck off. The MCU's personal model of Green Lantern as an alternative for Squadron Supreme's position spectrum. So oh, see. Squadron Supreme! Of course! Yes, fuck! I didn't even realise they, they were bringing that in. Of course, I do have a little Lego minifigure of him. He is... Oh, he's in the cabinet. Why is Wally's face the other way around? Uh, it, it's very loose. It, it turns. It shouldn't be. It should be facing the right way, but it... You can open that cabinet and do it if you want, but not much falls in that cabinet. He's yeah. Don't hey, because there's, there's fingers that flying around my room, man. It's pissing me off. <laughs> Rocket guy needs to do it anyway. Yeah, they've got quite a few fingers. I'm being quiet, being. <laughs> Rocket died yesterday. So he did actually Man. snapped. Uh, who? Iron Man. Yeah. Because uh, my little Lego robot fell, smashed everything to pieces. Piece of shit, you mean exorcist? Um, but yeah, Green Lantern. Mm-hmm. Venom Two is still. I heard the is in fall. I heard that Venom Two was still going to go ahead. It's still happening. Thank God for. Well, I suppose a symbiote won't so, really care about Corona. No. 
the Ellsbury's have obviously been so good at home could not stay at home. Either. Yeah, it's mm. fucking frustrating. I know, but yeah, that's still going ahead on that one. Mm-hmm. Brendan Fraser has kind of hinted he might be coming back for a new Mummy movie. Really? Yeah. As in related to his or Tom Cruise's, even though I think it Tom's Cruise... Probably related to his. But Tom Cruise's, remember, did acknowledge the old mummies because we saw the exact same Book of the Dead or the mm. Living, whichever one it was. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure Tom Cruise's mummy I think is... Tom Cruise's mummy has all been like, pushed under the rug. I, think it's I know, like... but they had that whole dark universe. Because obviously, yeah. did you watch Invisible Man? I have watched it, yeah. That was supposed to be tied in with this, wasn't it? Because yeah. it's to do with all the... the Hansel and Gretel and... Not Hansel and Gretel, fucking Adam... Um, fucking... What should we call him? Yeah, Russell Crowe. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, I know, yeah, yeah, he's based <laughs> like a Hulk. Uh, Jack and Hyde. Yeah, that's the one. Um, yeah, uh, but then Johnny Depp was rumoured to play the, the Hollow one, the Invisible Man. And that was supposed to be part of the Dark Universe stuff. But this Invisible Man had fuck all to do with anything that happened in the Mummy and shit. Because even when the film started, you know, I said to be, I'll get a second, see at the end of the credits, see if that happens. Fuck all that, but I don't know. So, yeah, I know the Dark Universe, they wanted to mock it. There, there, there was going to be a five part series. It was, it was basically better maybe its own yeah. uh, an Avengers esque. But I think they, they kind of like pushed it under the rug because it, the film was a flop. Well, the, the Mummy 1 and the I Mummy 2, like... I, I enjoyed it. The Mummy 1 and the Mummy 2 were quite good. I didn't. The, the Mummy where it's. Is it uh, Jet Li? Uh, was a bit. Yeah. Yeah, because the, what there's been three, hasn't there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, the two OG ones, and then yeah, yeah. But yeah, he, he, it, it's not said he is, but yeah, if it does happen. Well, he's had a revival of his career, hasn't he? With yeah. um, thingy, mm-hmm. Doom Patrol. He has indeed. He has indeed. Right. Okay. It's been conf- again. It's been confirmed that. Hugh Jackman yeah is not coming back as Wolverine okay he's hanging his claws up right but we do have someone else so Wolverine is coming back just not Hugh Jackman yeah I thought he said he would if if it was in the MCU no he's um, he's hung his claws up he said he's at that point where he's He's played the role long enough. He's proud of what he's done. Uh-huh. And he's just going to leave it there. It's like fair enough. I suppose as well, getting to the stage where he is, mm. you have to get into that shape. Like the shape he's in for like um, mm. the Wolverine and yeah. stuff is fucking ridiculous. Yeah. It's probably a bit of it. And then it might be hassle after, after he had his skin cancer and shit. Yeah. Maybe it's all a bit fucking a bit um, too much. But yeah, but we are seeing him in the next Deadpool 3. Hugh Jackman? No. Wolverine. Oh, Wolverine. Wolverine, which is coming out in February 2023. Right. Plus, we are also getting a first MCU X-Men movie yeah. in November. Um, of that same year? Yes. Okay, so the first solo X-Men or X-Men member. So is it somebody from it, like like Cyclops or a fucking Wolverine or whatever, or is it the X Men? The X Men movie. Oh shoot! Okay, cool. So uh, all right, okay, so Deadpool's setting everybody up. He's going to be the first mutant in- interaction in the MCU. Mm-hmm. Well, he even though he's a mutate. Yes. Um. Oh okay. Oh shit! Oh snap! Yeah. So we are. Uh, have I said who we're getting? No, you said somebody was lined up. It's big. It's he's he's definitely doing it. Oh, he's, he's confirmed. Mm-hmm. Oh shit! Right, Kate. Okay. Who do you think? Before I go there, I I didn't hate the idea of um, that young British actor from the Kingsman. I didn't hate that idea. Uh, but who do I think they would have gone for? Oh shit! Okay. Oh, well, it depends what because that all I'm seeing is Hugh Jackman. Do we want a younger Wolverine if they want to continue him through the franchise or do we want a, a rather weathered sort of midpoint one? Um, what's his name? The Australian actor uh, that was in Terminator and Wrath and Clash of the Titans. Oh, fuck, I think I want to say Jason. I can't remember his fucking name now. You know Wrath and Clash of the Titans? 
the Australian, he's in the, the Terminator, the one with Christian Bale. Mm. He is a Terminator, I can't remember his fucking name. He would, I don't think he would be quite a, he's he used to play in sort of rugged, tough man sort of roles. Yeah. Who, who, who have they got, Roy? <laughs> it makes sense now, because he, he, he's quite good at it. Oh, what? Keanu Reeves. That's what, it's confirmed, he is. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I can see him playing Wolverine. I kind of can't know. Yeah, well, cause the whole thing was, it. oh, he's going to be in the Eternals, he's going to be in the Eternals, and then so he's not in the Eternals, he's going to be playing Wolverine. Mm-hmm. Ah, shit. I, uh, I can't see him with mutton chops, and I can't see him with that pointed hairdo, and he's quite a smallish, relatively skinny dude. Wolverine is classically known in the comics for being really short but can still fucking himself up bulky. Like, oh, he's not, he's not. I know, but imagine avoiding up Keanu Reeves. We've never seen Keanu Reeves avoiding up. I, I don't know, as acting wise, he could probably play it phenomenally. I mean, can you really see him say, hey Bob, with the cigar in his gog, covered in claret, hey Bob, I'm the best there is at what I do. I mean, I ain't going to knock it because Keanu Reeves is going to fucking an absolute gem Mm -hmm. he probably will knock it out of the park I think I'd need to see some um, I'd have to see some like like pictures test footage and stuff like what they did with um, Batman just to sort of get that feel about it yeah I'm sure he'll do amazing he will do I think I think he'd he'd, he'd get on to be honest Mm. wait and see (laughs) that's wait until 2023 (laughs) fuck I mean that's the exciting part but uh, we need. Um, who did we say was gonna? Uh, oh, we, we, so the uh, the uh, uh, end game, the snap is creating mutants in the MCU. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we've got that figured out. So we can have mutants because I assume they'll explore that in Deadpool three. Yeah. Um, if there's mutants going to be involved, I'm sure they'll explain that. So it all works out timeline timeline going forward. We were going to get a TV series for this. Right. And then it got cancelled. Mm-hmm. Now we might be getting a reboot of some films. Ghost Rider. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, hell yeah. Wait, a reboot including what they've already done in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Because that's MCU connected and there is Ghost Rider in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. There is. I don't know. So are they just going to reboot? Re- reboot? Reboot? Reboot the films. It might be just the films we're going off on here. So do you reckon they're having the same guy from Shades of Shield? Because that will that will affect their continuity a little bit. No, because the Norman Reedus is my... Oh, Norman <laughs> Reedus! That is perfect! Fuck Ages of Shield is a pile of shit show anyway. Fuck, Norman Reedus is the Ghost Rider. He loves bikes possibly. for real. No, don't give me possibly, Chris. I don't want to <laughs> fucking possibly... That is an awesome, and awesome pick. Show. I can pure see that. Yeah. And I, is, will this be? Uh, will it be MCU connected? Because it was. Uh-huh. Was it Sony that did them? And Sony for. Jared. Yeah, the MCU. It's an MCU connected. Yeah. Oh my days! That's beautiful. So you could have Jeffrey D. Morgan as Craven. Mm-hmm. And then he'll come in as Ghost Rider, both of them two badasses inside of the MCU. Yeah. Oh, shoot, a duck in the face. That's beautiful. Poor duck. I know, mate, poor <laughs> duck. But Jesus Christ, that's a sheer face of boredom right there. <laughs> What's happening there then? She <laughs> does her own. <laughs> Leave me alone. Do you want, are you looking for something to do, B? Because I couldn't have to do another coffee. <laughs> Look at the state of that. That's awesome, mate. I'll tell my mum that. She loves Norman Reedus. He's a good guy. I like Norman. Do you watch his biking show? No. That's I I watched it. It's actually quite I mean I couldn't give a shit about the bikes he talks about, but he did a few episodes with Jeffrey D. Morgan. It's it's quite fun. I'll give it a watch. What the fuck it's called? Isn't it just called biking with Norman Reedus? Something like that. Or on or, or on the road with Norman on Reedus. On the road with Norman Reedus. Yeah. It was quite cool. Uh Top Gun been delayed until December. Fuck me, that's a huge delay. Mm-hmm. No fucking delayed as fast and furious, like but yeah. Some people are taking it to the extreme, yeah. but Fast and Furious want it to be a summer blockbuster, don't they? Because there's different seasonal blockbusters, mm-hmm. and they've yeah. pushed it back to next summer, haven't they? Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, Top Gun, December. Just quickly fire that, that one. That means it's going to be everything at the cinema at once. Um, Indiana Jones 5 mm-hmm. has also been delayed again. You mentioned this. Uh, 2022. Which we did work out. At first, you said ignore 4. But now, still it can include four. It is part of the, the timeline. It is they are jumping. Yeah, just don't, just you don't need to watch number four. Yeah, because number four is absolutely. Well, I still to this day, I don't, I, I don't hate it. The sense of adventure is still there, and that's what we love Indy for. He is, he is adventure. Fair enough, the adventure was a bit cuckoo and crazy, and the shenanigans that took place were a bit shit. But the sense of adventure is still there, yeah. and the sense of wonder and mystery and intrigue. Because I mean, he, he quite literally. Drunk from the Holy Grail, but yet people can't believe fucking aliens. Mm-hmm. So it's a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I love Indy. That's why I call Indy. My boys love Indy. Right. Um, we've got a date for Captain America. No, Captain oh, Marvel two. B give some dates for the MCU timeline. Um, twenty twenty two, Captain Marvel. So it's coming sooner than we all thought. Twenty twenty two. Yeah. And didn't you say she was to include? Oh, there was a superhero. Was Storm. Yeah, Storm. Was it Storm? I think it was Storm playing by Rihanna. Yeah, didn't you say she was going to be in Captain Marvel too, Or mm-hmm. rumoured to rumored, be? Rumoured, I think it was. Uh, but with the, she also got ru- rumoured in Black Panther, which for me would make more sense because... She did as well, yeah. She, in comics, uh, I, I couldn't tell if they still are actually or not, did actually marry mm-hmm. with Black Panther. At the same time, Black Panther's a bit of a... He went for a bit of Sue Storm. Sue Storm went for a bit of name. Well, she's a bit of a slag, actually. <laughs> It's fucking Sue Storm. Do we do we know if the the Kerinskys, Emily Blunt and John are going to be Fantastic Four? Still Mr. And Mrs. I fucking hope they are. I know. But yeah, I, so that's coming sooner. That's coming sooner than we all thought. And now everything else. Oh, is this what you've got? It's going back onto what probably we were going to know. The MCU. I don't know if you still have it. I said save whatever you did. The Marvel fucking dates. Oh, you did save it. All right, okay, so this might be the same info because she was like, I wonder if Chris has got this. <laughs> B, B got a list though with the year, the month, and the date. So far. Oh, look at you both on them, my, my, <laughs> two, <laughs> my two little interns. My mentions mail, well, mine doesn't. Mine's more, the MC, mine's more the Marvel side of things, but. Um. Right, it's Black Widow, Eternal. Black Widow, was, which Doctor is a big Strange. shot. Strange. Brilliant. Look at you what both just it? being fantastic Thor. job. To be fair, I only said save it in case Chris didn't find Black that. Panther, Marvel. Mm-hmm. Right, well, whichever one of you can, you can stop just deciding who's got the biggest cock and actually give me the list, please. Go on then, B. Because you sat here. Lag. Right, go on, B. Here's, here's with, uh, go on. with your lists. So, Black Widow is set for the 6th of November. Which is fucking bullshit, May. mate. I, B did pull up a, a thing that said uh, they're not doing it on Disney Plus, which yeah. would make sense because they, they will lose too much money. So fuck that. I don't know why they would, but you don't need to push it back that far. No, they don't. But yeah, sixth of yeah. December, and November, yeah. so it's kind of shit. Yeah, but next. this is still this year, not fucking next. Yeah, year. well, yeah, but it means that like, everything else has been. But pushed I said back that to B is that the whole that's where yeah. Eternals was supposed to come out. Yeah, Phase Four has been completely pushed back. Spider Man was supposed to be summer next year. We were going to get the conclusion to the ultimate cliffhanger. They're going to say, how oh, fuck you, Dan, you fat little prick. We hope you die before you see this. <laughs> That's exactly what they're fucking thinking. Jake Gyllenhaal went into that studio and said, oh, we don't want that fucking fat little weirdo to find out about us. Find out what happened. So they fucking pushed that mark. It's pissing me off. I'm angry. Uh, next on the list, please. Sure. Eternals. Eternals, yes. Which now, if it's you're... It's your birthday next year. Yes, 12th of February. I'm the 21st of February. Um, oh, I'm the 12th of February. I love you so much, Chris. You are my boy, but I hope to God she's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's my birthday. Uh, well, we, we both agree February. Yeah. yeah. Same numbers, just different different order. Uh-huh. Mm. Fuck her. Mm. Mm-hmm. And then Shang-Chi, The Legend of Ten Rings on the 7th of May. Yeah. Which is obviously bringing back uh, what <laughs> actually really happened. I am on one week, you heard them mention the Ten Rings, the real Mandalorian. Uh, Mandal- Ma- I was going to say Mandalorian. The real Mandarin should be back. Carry yeah. on, sorry. And Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, mm-hmm. uh, 5th of November. Yeah. Oh, which is... Oh, he's got that one too. <laughs> <laughs> which is fucked up because we thought that was going to give us the answer to mutants and blah, blah, blah. We so, thought, still don't know what's going to happen. We thought that was going to give us most of the answers towards... Ex- well, most of the... Uh, towards everything. Yeah, to everything. But... Evidently not. Sorry, babe. Not. Carry on. Sorry, just when you bring up a key film, we... I'm letting you just ramble yeah. on. Because... 
Yeah. Che- cheers, Jamie. And then push from November 2021 to the 18th of February 2022 is Thor. Yes. Love and Thunder, which Love is Thunder. potentially... Fourth installment in the Thor series. Yeah, the first person <laughs> to get four films. Uh, yes. and I, I actually did a recent video on who has the best trilogy, Captain America, Iron Man, or Thor. Uh, my answer was Captain America, because it brought in Spider-Man, plus that fight scene in the yeah. Germany. Here, I, oh my God, you can't beat that. But uh, that potentially could be Chris... Chris uh, Hemsworth's last one. Jane Foster's becoming Lady Four. She is. Uh, Rumoured about Beta Ray Bill could be coming into it. We are going to see most of the Guardians of the Galaxy in this before they go off and do their thing. Yeah. And, sorry, when you get to Guardians, there's no point I'll bring up, but carry on. Doing after four. Two. Yeah, sorry, after four. Oh, okay. Sorry, Jamie. Um, Black Panther and Captain Marvel will fall on the 6th of May and 8th of July. Yeah. May, June, July. That's not that many between them. That means that they might be giving us more films per year. I haven't been working it out here because at the minute it was two per year, wasn't it? No, we're still getting all three. Three per year still. Yeah. Okay. And then Mulan is not out until the 24th of July. Next year. I didn't give a date, so I'm assuming next year. No. No, because Mulan was supposed to be... March, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Early March. It was supposed to be uh, later on this year. So they pushed it back later on this year? No, I think they pushed it till like, next year. So, uh, really? Next year? Yeah. That's fucking bullshit. Did you have Guardians on that list? No. Uh, Guardians Volume 3 is rumoured James Gunn has uh, put a statement out saying he's wanted to go a bit more edgy and he wants to kill off two Guardians. I read this as well. What the fuck is that about? I mean, they could get away with it. If it's Mantis, which I'm fine with, and Nebula. See, they can't really kill off Mantis. Well, they can. Well, they can't. Because there's rumour that her and Drax are getting their spin-off. Yeah, but you could still do a spin-off. Because if they did a Disney Plus spin-off, they could do a spin-off You could, like, the... push them out, I suppose. You could, you could kill them in Guardians Volume 3, but their spin-off, or Mantis, would be, like, an involvement of, like... It could be something stupid when they were snapped away, what they were doing in Titan, yeah, or a prequel, or uh, all the other shenanigans that yeah. went on. It doesn't have to be, because like we've seen with Black Widow, we've seen with all the other shit. Mm-hmm. But apparently it's kind of two Guardians. I don't think it'd be Nebula, because she's just, like, joined. Nebula's badass, but... Uh, she's kind of just joined the Guardians, rather than just... But she's kind of somewhat, for me, done everything she needs to do. Hmm. I mean, I, I, it could be a case of her. She it's a like she has to die for them to save Gamora for some reason, or her dying is what sways Gamora back to the Guardians. Because we've got to remember, Gamora's in a weird place now. She, 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 so it could be it could be an impactful uh, death for her. Uh, and like I said, Drax, no, there's no real reason to kill him off. Rocket, Raccoon, and Groot. Get Rocket and Groot for all we know. But I, like I said this. I still you, don't know the origin of this story. But it's supposed to spend more time in Rocket's world. Yeah, we, we spoke about that. So they won't kill Groot purely because of product placement. Groot will sell a hell of more units of his products yeah, sure. because everybody falls in love with Groot could the second he was there. Rocket, then? Uh, could, potentially could be a Rocket. I, again, though, I, I don't think so because he's not a significant enough of a death. If you were to lose Chris Pratt, the Star Lord. That's a huge impact for death. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, but if, if you remember, Guardians One and Guardians Two were all about him. Yeah. So it's it's a bit thingy. Um, yeah, I, my money's on Mantis and Nebula because he just said Guardians, and they are now counted as Guardians, and it's a way for him oh, to say, oh, it's not, it's not just probably not could be Gamora. It could, well, it could be with Gamora, but but by the looks of it, part of the next film is all about persuading her to come back. What have you read? No, I don't. What have you read, Jamie? What's what? What's that? What did you say? What? Uh, nothing. So did it say Gamora's rumored to die? I'm not telling you. Well, we can discuss it quickly. <laughs> read it out, Jamie. Do us proud. Go on, Jamie. Okay, so this place is also expected that the film will deal with the fallout of Lee character Gamora's death. Da, da, da. The, the film Guardians 3 will yeah, deal with her death. So they're going to start off Guardians 3. I don't know, that's what I'm saying. No, the, the, surely Guardians 3, admit, okay, that's, that's, that, you have to take that with a pinch of salt. They can still deal with the fallout of her death. Because she is dead. She's died. Yeah. Thanos chucked her off Vormir. Yeah. 
So that the fallout of her death is now them having to persuade the, the, the past Gamora, which is now the present Gamora, about everything and how everything's changed and what she doesn't know and forgotten and stuff. So they are dealing with the fallout of her death without her, this version of her dying. They're not going to kill her off twice and they're not going to spend a, a lead on of them finding Gamora and chasing her down just for them to die again. That means it's the fallout of her death from when Thanos chopped off of Vormir. Guarantee it. Which means that even more... Was that thumbs up? Was that you just being like, wait, look at you trying to be a smart ass or... Yeah, that was just a... He's cute. Ah. That means then it must be Nebula. My money's on Nebula and Mantis. I don't think they'll kill... Because it's all fucking girl power in it, so I don't think they'll kill her too. <laughs> no, you, you could be right, <laughs> but they could be dying by saving the Guardians. Their girl power, like... It could be Drax, but is there really any significance? Because Drax is a what a, a little—I wouldn't it's, say a little role, but he's not. Yeah, but it's the same source, Mantis. That's what I mean. Drax, yeah, you've got a point, but like you kill Mantis off, it's not so impactful that nothing can be right again. But it's not so insignificant; you wouldn't be gutted. You yeah. need someone that hits that middle ground. Mantis is, is quite like that. I think if you lost Drax for good, there would be a bit of a void in the Guardians. Uh-huh. I mean, everyone loves Drax. He's cool as fuck. Oh, yeah. um, but we'll actually have to wait and see. Um, uh, the, and and go carry on with MCU. This whole RDJ c- crack coming back. Eight million. Tom Holland has to be in the thingy. Uh, um, just I seen a new thing saying it will be as Iron Man four. Why it be Rocket? James Gunn killing out. That's uh, a question mark at the end. Rocket Raccoon in Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Johnny James Gunn had Rocket favourite character. I was told Gunn is going back following Guardians 3. Gunn is also proved he can film Guardians of the Galaxy will be the last season. Uh, so it's, he's saying oh, Guardians of the Galaxy yes. Volume 3 is going to be the last iteration of this team. So it's Guardians, but the next Guardians won't be the same unique team. But it's the same because the Avengers aren't going to be the same Avengers next. Hmm. We're, we're, the, the, we're, we're missing the majority of them. The majority of the key players... James Gunn did kill off Michael Rooker's Yondu. Well, that's fine. Uh, possible. Yeah, he's basically just saying the Guardians in 4 and then any of Avengers going onwards won't be the same. And Rocket could potentially die, which I would miss Rocket. Yeah. Rocket's... I mean, he's probably my second favourite Guardian after Star-Lord. Because he's kind of like the comedian of the group, isn't he? Yeah, look at us, just a bunch of jackasses standing up. <laughs> what I said about uh, Iron Man, uh, they, they, wanted, they said it's going to be an Iron Man 4... And I, I thought about this another way. It kind of makes sense if you want to bring Iron Man back because there's no reason that he can't be the AI system inside of the, the whoever's wearing the suit. Or, you know, how he had a hologram at yeah. the end of Endgame. Mm-hmm. You could have that where, whether it be his daughter or Spider-Man or whoever goes back to for yeah. for, for thingy. It's, it's quite... So you could easily have Iron Man in future films. He's sure. just... He's still dead. Yeah. It's just he's an AI system or he's uh, the, the hologram version or whatever. All right. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, well. um, just quickly, because I just come across another one. Um, just again, some dates being pushed about and whatnot, mm-hmm. whatnot. Uh, Greyhound. I don't know what that film was. Greyhound. Um, but that's been pushed back to the middle of December the this is, year. Um, again, Fatherhood. Whatever that was. That was a release date of uh, November, but that has been pushed back until February. About what? Eternals. Thank God for that. I mean, I'd, <laughs> I would rather it be a Doctor Strange or a Spider-Man out of my birthday, but I will take a Marvel film out of my birthday. Uh, Peter Rabbit. That was supposed to be out in that was July. Easter. That was supposed to be the, the Easter film, was July. It? Now that's been pushed back until January next year. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Ghostbusters. That was going to come uh, out don't in mate, don't. In Ghostbusters November. and Jurassic Park. That was going to come out in November. Now that's coming back. Now that's getting pushed back until May. Sorry, Jurassic World. Morbius. Yes, Morbius, mate. What Again, a fucking joke. That was going to come out in July, and that's been pushed back until March next year. Why? Next? This is fucking stupid, mate. I will risk getting a disease to watch that film. <laughs> I really will. <laughs> Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uncharted. I don't know if they've done this to the other one. Yeah, with the Tom Holland one. Yeah. That guy is a fucking god. It's. 
I've already told me if Tom Holland come up to me and said, "Leave your girlfriend for me," would you? I'd be like, "See you later, big." It's it's it did originally have a date for August twenty twenty one. That's soon. Um, I didn't well, realize fucking pre production on that was was anywhere near. I think I, at first I think it's going to be the way around here. Um, looking at these dates. Yeah. Um, it was supposed looking at it. It was supposed to be out in May. It's been now pushed back to August. So it's been pushed back three months. So it's not too bad. Right. And that is it. That's again, a lot. Huh? That's a lot. That's a lot. Again, there's obviously Fast and Furious next year. James Bond later on in the year now, which is kind of fucking shit. Quiet Place, that was meant to be out oh, last mate, month. Oh, mate, that's, that's the one that hurts the most because we were that far away from that it. That was meant to be out last we month. We were a week away um, from it. Did we get a date for that? Nah. New Mutants, though. There's... No fucking comfort. There's nothing. On that the film movies. needs to just be put up online. It needs to. That's the one that you can get away with because I think either people have either lost interest, don't give a fuck, or the fact that we've waited that fucking long. What is it? Four years? Three years? It's been pushed back. Fucking. It was originally meant to come out in 2017. Right, yeah, okay, so sorry, two years. Yeah. Long enough, that, mate. It's fucking. Four times it's been pushed back. So bizarre. Obviously, we're fucking things change, you know, and then obviously, fucks fucking the Sony buying Fox and all that fucking shit, and then bringing them in. Oh, it's fucking, it's pissing me off. Disney. Disney buying Fox. Yep, sorry. <coughs> but yeah, it's pissing me off. Still me getting. Um, dips, dips, quickly scroll through. September for a quiet place. I've seen you wear them trainers before. Yes. <laughs> Have I? Yes. Um, Thank you for that heads up, B. Yes, thank Welcome. you. Welcome. Um, <laughs> has the, uh, anyone know if the, the, the new Pokemon anime film has been pushed back because of this? Pokemon Coco? No, I don't know. Because they do come out to cinema. I, I, I think it's pushed back because they take forever to come out anyway. Does you reckon there's a new Mythical? When that comes out... 10th of July 2020. It doesn't say anything about it getting pushed back. Right. Because when that comes out, that means I'll get the Mythical Pokemon on the game. That's what I mean, but if it gets pushed back, I want my mythical. It looks awesome, B. Why are you taking the piss? Get the fuck out of you. <laughs> yeah, I mind. think you should take this. Uh, I think you should take this moment to apologise. Hello. To absolutely fucking no one. Uh, well, that looks like it's a soft little, look, the soft little, soft little roundup. The, the little roundup. We're gonna chill out. We're oh, actually got one video to do. Watch Russell Man. I need to put this video together. And put the fucking predictions up before the fucking show starts. Uh, uh, sorry, we can whisper in the news. Get that done. Um, you, you've got a pizza to make. It was entertainment news this week. Yeah, there was quite a bit. Uh, I'm so up. Uh, we, we've got a bracket coming up on next podcast, and then we're going to do another bracket next week. So get that bracket done. I will do. That's, it's fun as fuck, man. It's proper fun. Yeah. And like I said, if Beezy, if she can be an impartial third judgment. Yeah. Um, well, we were doing rock, paper, scissors, but if there was a third person that could weigh in, because maybe you could give key points and shit like that. Um, and yeah, the 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 dogs are slept. It's fine. Man, I read the scooter the other day and it felt so good. It's been a while since I've been on that bad boy. She's oh, she finally went on it. <laughs> no, finally got on it. <laughs> but I think she may have enjoyed it a little bit. But the only thing is, I'm, a, I, no. I'm a bit of a bad lad. I think I've given her a bit of need for speed now. You know what I mean? She felt the wind in her hair. Is he driving? And she, <laughs> she felt the wind Did in her die? head and the freedom. I like it. What? No, I'm oh, she's fucking sick, isn't she? Yes. She is. What do you mean? It's fucking disgusting, that shit. How? Fucking just like taking over a hundred cars and we're out of the time in the company. Fuck that. That never happened. <sighs> no, it didn't. Should have worn it, could have. I felt unsafe. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Every time you're in a car with me, you fall asleep. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's car journeys. <laughs> I love car journeys. Are you okay? Yeah. Just, I'm like a baby. You know, I know some people get newborns and need to put the baby in the car. Drive around. Yeah. yeah. It's me. Well, I've never thought of this before. Yeah. Like, I, I've got no wish to fall asleep. I've got a cosy. My room, my room may be many things, right? But it's a guaranteed cosy, cosy room. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it is so cosy, cosy. Cosy, cosy. Yeah. Cosy, oh, cosy. Chris, no, Chris, sorry, it's. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, you cannot use cozy. We are copywriting it. Yeah, cozy, co- copyright. Cozy. That doesn't mean sex. It's what when we used to say shit with uh, Scott and John and Andy that we used to copyright. 
It's like you'd set up a new word and it's copyright. Yeah, okay. Awesome. Yeah. Bye. Is there ever going to be a Lego Movie 3? No. No. <laughs> Good buy Lego with that rent money. Visuals, that was this week's news. Let us know your favourite story and um, let us know if you're still enjoying B. If not, I can always dump her and find a younger man. Um, <laughs> Please do. Find a younger man. Yeah. I think she'd be heartbroke. Totally. I've literally given her a look, look at this. Look at this life I provide for her. We've we've worked out since she met me. Her Funko collection hasn't doubled, hasn't tripled. It's quadrupled since I, I met her. That, to be honest. Huh? More than that. Yeah, more than that. More than quadrupled, mate. I have made her life. She owes me a debt and a coffee. <laughs> but at the same time, she's proper helped complete the Pokemon Sun Shield base set. Why? But she opened her first booster box because of me. That was for the channel. And I had to go on and do like an apology. It's like, sorry, Visual. She was there. She's never opened one. She was so excited. I had to do it. So, and I was, I was like, I had, I had more cards hidden away. I was like, okay, we'll do this one more pack. We'll do the one more pack. Well, you're gonna apologize to them. No, they're gonna turn on you so quick. We have, we have loyal fans, and we do got a cons. They may egg you. That's fine. That's fine. What would you do if all like the visuals come up? Some of them are like Walk this big. With, like a little deodorant kind of lighter. <laughs> <laughs> we're, not, we're, we're not, we're not Jason. We're not scared of fire. No, torches on. <laughs> All right, but yeah, that was this week's news. We're going to quickly do the that was podcast podcast. Uh, I don't, I'm sure I've never seen you wear them shoes. Yeah, uh, and uh, we'll we'll uh, get the news done. With shit like that. It's going to be quite dark in here for the news. But for uh, my mum put a brand new light bulb in there. And it was bright as shit. I don't know where it's gone. That is a new light bulb. No, it was much brighter than that the other day. A bit darker though the other day. I forgot I got them 3D pictures. They're cool as fuck. Uh, visuals, thank you for watching this. Remember to always keep it in here, keep on keeping it on! Love you, mate. I don't know. Hey! I did a video with her the other day, colouring in and that. No, no, I did actually. Uh, bye! Bye!